My name is uh, Julio Hernandez Castro. This is joint work with uh, Darren Harley Smith, both um, currently at the University of Kent. Um, I'm not very uh, used to this five minutes format, so unfortunately, and I fully apologize for that, we have to skip some interesting parts, particularly related works, and go just basically directly to the results. So uh, these are our victims, uh, these are our targets, these uh, beauties on the right. Uh, these are three quantum random number generators that are, um, happen to be uh, manufactured by one of the sponsors <coughs> of this event, ID Quantic. Um, they are interesting, um, and this is more or less our experimental setting. Um, they happen to be pretty uh, expensive, uh, from 1,000 to 3,000 um, euros. Um, and they claim to provide uh, true randomness at a very high speed, uh, which is very important in their marketing materials. Um, we don't agree that much with that, and we think they compare unfavorably to, for example, something uh, like the chaos key, which is not quantum, it's a classical uh, TRNG that is way cheaper. You can find that for 60 um, uh, euros and also is completely open. So the design is open, uh, there's no security by obscurity here. So in case I'm thrown out of the stage because of the, this five minute format, these are our main results. Uh, Quantis claims that they produce true random bits and we found them, the raw bits at least, <coughs> heavily biased and correlated. Um, they claim these very high speeds, 16 megabits per second, 4 megabits per second of true random bits, and that's simply not true. Um, you can achieve basically one-fourth of, of this speed after post-processing. Uh, they also claim post-processing is optional. Uh, again, um, not really. Um, they also do some self-certification that we think is not really useful. And they also engage in third-party certification, but at levels, in, in, um, a step for one particular um, generator they use, at levels that are so low that I think are useless for cryptography. Um, also, they have an additional scene. They, their TRNGs are closed hardware design. It's not open as we have seen the chaos key is. Um, you know, security by obscurity and all that. We have seen this thousands of times. It doesn't end well. So very quickly, this is, um, you know, quite uh, depressing. Um, basically, you have the th three generators there. They struggle, but mostly pass the well-known um, statistical tests, die harder and NIST with some, you know, uh, difficulty. But then, when presented uh, with new tests, less well-known in the crypto community, like uh, Alphabets and Rabbit, coming from test U00, they fail <laughs> miserably. And um, you have uh, Chaos Key for 60 um, uh, euros that has everything with flying colors, and even Devi Random has everything uh, all these battery of tests with flying colors, so um, not great. Um, I don't think I have a lot of time to, to, to uh, mention this, but they present quite interesting uh, bias when we uh, analyze these with um, chi-square test. We have seen something similar in previous works uh, with the same team on Desfire EV1 cards. So, um, and that, that is a worrying trend. Uh, we have been working on, on TRNG analysis for the last three years, and we find more and more examples of generators that are engineered just to about pass the well-known test and then miserably fail anything outside of that. And that is not good because that will seed uh, them other uh, random number generators for crypto, um, uh, for crypto, uh, protocols. So very quickly, uh, this is part of an ongoing work. We are investigating other quantum random number generators. These four in here, they are based on slightly different um, ideas. 
one is a radioactive decay, uh, the quantities one are uh, bin splitters, so a photon and a mirror and, and so forth. And we have found that they are not the only ones to blame here. Uh, Hot bits and the Australian National University, QRNG, are also very bad. Uh, the results are provisional, of course, ongoing. On the other hand, there are some good cases. The Humble uh, generator and the Comsire seems to be uh, pretty good. Um, yeah, some people pay for this. And we engage into IDQ in some sort of uh, responsible disclosure, and they were relatively nice. And, and uh, yeah, that's it.